Hello everybody, my name is Chicken, and today I have a very special video for you today. This is an update video on my Thomas Wooden Railway model layout. Uh, and as you can see, things have changed a lot uh, since the last time you saw this, at least on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I've done a lot of work on this layout, trying to get it done. Uh, and I just barely managed to get it to a point where, you know, I can kind of call it done by before uh, the end of July. And I know this is, you know, the last day, but still. Um, so yeah, I just kind of uh, walk you through the updates. As you can see, everything is painted. Uh, and I've added the trees and the bushes and all the props and all that stuff. It's still technically not done now. I still have to do the frame that goes around the side. I have to paint that and maybe redo it because the edges aren't totally smooth, which I want them to be. So I can see about that. I also have to finish this corner here. This is meant to have uh, water and a uh, nice like brick pattern. I just forgot to paint it uh, whenever uh, I was painting the rest of it, but yeah, it's fine. And then the only other thing that I have left to do really is just to buy some uh, retaining walls uh, for the kind of yellow orange areas on the layout uh, just to give them a, a bit more detail. But other than that, this thing is pretty much done. And I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, so yeah, I'll just walk you through it in case you haven't didn't see the first part. Uh, but we have a track that goes around the entire bottom part, and it goes through a cave around the back, which is all painted to look like a, you know, dirty cave. Uh, and then this area I'm still not totally happy with. Uh, it's just like a little tunnel for the trains to go under. But yeah, uh, they, they get stuck in there sometimes because it is not totally flat and like their funnels sometimes get caught on the roofs. So yeah, there's a switch there, and a switch there, and this area here is meant to be, you know, like part of Duck's branch line on the little western. Uh, so that's why we have Duck here. This, this was like the last part of the layout that I did, because I didn't know what I was going to do here, because it was such an awkward shape. Uh, but I'm, I'm really proud of how this turned out. It's just like a natural tunnel that kind of formed. But yeah, anyway. So it goes up, there's James with tar tankers, uh, and a fuel tanker, and there's like a little Knapford yard, there's Knapford, and there's a road back there uh, for cars, and then let's follow the track and road, it goes up the hill, we have a little uh, pedestal for the windmill, uh, right there, like it's just like a little bit of raised terrain. So that way you know where it goes. Uh, and then the inside track is over the level crossing and into Mills Bridge. There's a yard, a whole bunch of stuff. The road goes over the level crossing. There's Birdie. And it's meant to just kind of go on forever uh, underneath the bridge. And then we also have, you know, this line that goes behind the station. And like I said on the last... Uh, Time. There's the uh, Thomas comes to breakfast house and just comes down again back to Nefford. Just makes a little loop. And then the outer line goes up to where Percy is onto this uh, little grassy hill that goes 
across the Sodor Suspension Bridge, or Sodor Bay Bridge, sorry. And there's Toby, another little hill, and it goes down back into Knapford. So yeah, very cool. But uh, there is another form that this layout can take, and I will show you that right now. And here is that second version that I was talking about. Uh, so as you can see, with just a few changes, you can really change the layout uh, quite a bit. So where we once had Ells Bridge, we now have Wellsworth. And I was able to extend that siding uh, to allow room for Henry. And, you know, we have the siding and the water tower and the station and all of that cool stuff. And then behind it, I swapped out the Sodor Bay Bridges for the viaduct. Uh, and that just goes up and down. And it looks very cool. Uh, it, out here in the yard, instead of having just three sidings, you can put three special engine sheds here. So that way you can have sheds for Toby, Thomas, and Percy. Uh, and I think that looks really cool. And then you come down another layer, and instead of having an effort station with a big uh, yard, you can put a little dock set up, or a little works, or, you know, whatever you want that's two tracks. So here I have the cargo crane, and then over here we have the work shed. So yeah, uh, with just a few minor adjustments, uh, you can you know, have a lot of freedom with, uh, you know, what you put on here, which I, I really, really like. Uh, it allows you to do a lot within a very small space. But yeah. So anyway, uh, that's about all I wanted to show off uh, for the layout. Uh, you can expect one more part uh, coming hopefully in August. We'll see. Um, where it'll be totally finished. I'll, I'll have the walls and we'll have the painted trim, um, but I don't know how long it's going to take. But as of right now, I'm very, very happy and pleased with this layout. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.